Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. In this video we're going to be starting a new series and we're going to be working on painting a fountain. If you want to follow along traditionally you can use acrylics or oils or you can also use pastels. The brushes that I use for acrylics usually contain a flat brush and a round brush, a filbert brush, and a bristle brush, and also a script brush. I like to use canvas board, but um, I do use stretch canvas on occasion, especially if I don't want to frame it because then you can just paint the sides of the, the stretched canvas and then it's ready to hang. And these are called gallery wrapped canvases. The colors that I use are usually um, in the Grumbacher Academy brand. And you can also use Liquitex and they have similar colors. But keep in mind there are some differences. And if you use a, another acrylic brand, then there's going to be quite a bit of difference. Now what I wanted to do with this painting was to give it sort of a vignette like look. And so that means that um, <clears throat> I'm not going all the way out on the sides of my painting. I want it to look unfinished sort of and, and just kind of uh, leave brush stroke like looks on the edge of the picture. And so <clears throat> what I've done is I'm going to use Infinite Painter for the app and we're going to go ahead and use some of the uh, oil and acrylic type brushes for this. So when we start out in Infinite Painter we want to go ahead and pick our paper size. And I usually like to pick something close to a, a 5x7 or an 8x10 or something that's, that's sort of close to an actual canvas size because that just makes it easier to make prints. And so here I've got some pictures of uh, fountains from pixabay.com which has royalty free photos that you can use for references. And I'm using the oval guide to go ahead and kind of get a a shape of the fountain and you want to kind of do this you want to draw the fountain out first and kind of get the correct shape of the fountain and then you can work around it um, with the tree branches and, and things like that and they don't need to be quite as accurate so I'm just using one of the sketch pencils the Proco pencil is a good sketch pencil <clears throat> to go ahead and and make the shape of the fountain and then I'm using some of the guides to make a make the oval and to to get it correct around the bottom of the fountain and the the trees behind it don't need to be accurate so I'm working on that and I want to go ahead and get sort of just the the sketch ready and then I'm putting on some dark leaves in the background around it. And um, what you want to do for this is tone your canvas. You can either work on acrylic paper that's toned or you can just take kind of a beige color and tone your canvas and then draw on it. So I want some of it to show through the picture. and. My photo reference was a picture that I took and just kind of erased the edges out to give it that vignette like look. And so here I'm just working on sort of getting the shape of the walls and the walls aren't too complicated and they'll be kind of covered with uh, bushes so you don't have to worry about it. Just kind of get them in a straight line. And then I'm sort of adding some dark colors for the fountain and I'm going to work more on the shape of it later on. Now you can just draw it out and get it really good from the beginning and that might be the easiest but you can it's fairly easy to correct as long as you start small and and then you can go a little bit bigger. And you can also use the background of the trees if you have to correct 
some of the shapes on the fountain. So here I'm just kind of looking through some of the brushes. The Pollock brush is the best one for getting um, that leafy look in the background. And I also use my bristle brush and just tap on the ends of the bristles. And I'm using sort of a hooker's green if you're following along with traditional colors of acrylic. And also using uh, phthalo yellow green to add some of the highlights to it. And I'll add that later on. I'm using some purple, some doxazine purple with white acrylic gesso to do the wall. And ultramarine blue with white acrylic gesso to do the fountain. And we want to add a little burnt sienna in there as well. Just to give it kind of the, the rusty look that that fountain has. And you can have a nice new fountain if you want. But I just kind of thought that the rusty look on there. Sort of gave it some interest to the painting. And here I'm just kind of working on adding some more of the foliage in the background using the Pollock brush or your, uh, your filbert brush or your bristle brush. And then I'm adding a little bit of what looks like sky. So you can use kind of a ultramarine blue with some hooker's green mixed in and white acrylic gesso. And that'll give you the sky color, and that looks like it's some of the sky showing through around the leaves. And I'm using several different colors of green. You can just use darker green and then put a bunch of um, purple in it, and that will make it darker. So this is the end of part one of my fountain series. And in part two, we're going to work more on the foliage and also start refining the fountain. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. And thanks everybody for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I will catch you later.